Shields up, Ironbreakers. How's everybody doing today? Hope we're all doing good. I know that I had to delay this stream once and then I'm still like a couple of minutes late. This is just a hey, look. This is just a hey man. Look, I'm an old man. I'm an old man. Okay, I worked a lot this year. I am very, very tired. And I'm an old man. That That's my excuse. I'm an old man. Okay. <laughs> Now, realistically, I really wasn't expecting. <laughs> it's like then again, okay, look, I'm, I'm not exactly sure why I made the decision to update my drivers right before the stream. Not exactly sure what good I expected could come from that. I was like, hey, maybe I'll get better performance. Like, what better performance, bro? You're on a 60 hertz screen. You're getting 60 FPS. It's not gonna get much better than that. You're already getting consistent 60 FPS. You're fine. Your performance is fine. You idiot. You're a moron. Why would you update your drivers? But anyway, as I updated my drivers, here's what happened. Here's what happened. I updated the drivers. And now my second screen is a wide screen. It's not an ultra wide. It's just a regular wide. And uh, because this is just like a hand-me-down screen that I found somewhere in the warehouse because I don't care. The second screen is not super important. It just holds up chat. So I just needed to look at chat. And what happened was the new NVIDIA drivers either don't support it or I don't know, but Windows no longer detect detects that screen as a wide screen. So now chat, where it used to be like this, now it's like this. You're all white people now. That's what you are. It's okay. We're kind of just living on the edge. I like living on the edge, you know? It is what it is. It is what it is. Rui, I'm right past Nergigante with my new one. Good stuff. Good morning, Steve Lamp. What's up? Forgot how good Gunlance switch axe feels in World. I don't know about the Gunlance part, dude. It's, it's very hard for me to do Gunlance in World. I will say, however, it is some of the best feeling charge blade in the business. I actually think that World Iceborne charge blade feels better than it does in Rise Sunbreak. I don't know if people agree or disagree with that particular take. That's just how I personally feel about it. Do we have any quests? No, we don't have any quests. Do we have requests, though? We got lots of investigations. No, oh yeah, but there was one thing that I wanted to check on. There was one thing I wanted to check on. Uh, if we go to world map, we go to ancient forest, Linian Researcher. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know where he is. We're going to go find him. We're going to go talk to the Linian Researcher. It absolutely does. I felt that from the first demo. Yeah. World's SAD effect is just so satisfying to watch. Yep. Yep, yep. That's not to say that Rises is bad, but it's not as good. It's not as good. Uh, let's eat a meal. I don't know if we'll need one. Our oh, why not? canteen here serves food that will give you a boost for the hunt ahead. Okay. Let's just get whatever's fresh. Isn't there one option in the menu that just... Let's you choose whatever is fresh. Chef's choice? Yeah, Chef's choice. Yeah, just give me Chef's choice. It's all good. Bro, look at what this woman cooks for you and people clown on her. Imagine. Imagine clowning on this woman after she cooks a meal like that for you. Bro, let me tell you something, man. People that clown on the handler are unhinged. I'ma say it. It is what it is. Y'all are unhinged. Okay? Feels bad. It is what it is. How dare you clown on the handler? What's wrong with you? She calls you pard? Bro, she could call me Sally. For all the good she does me, man, she could call me Sally for all I care. Hello there. <laughs> Hello 
hello there. Are you here to help my research? My, my, my aching feet. That's good to hear. I may not be a quick runner, but I know plenty about the ecosystem. Just come over for a chat if there's something you want to know. The Grimmel kinds in this area call themselves the Buck Trappers. I've seen their trails not far from here. To track them, you must first find that trail by putting your scout flies on it. Hmm. Oh, that's it? We just track them? Okay. Yoink. Kif, kif, kif. Oh, I wonder if I can turn in, because we did kill... We did kill an Angie last time around. Wait, 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 wait. I still haven't gotten these ants. I think that these ones are different from... from the ones over on the Wild Spire Wastes. Yoink! Oh. <laughs> Not if play in Japanese or even Monster Hunter language. Why do the fans go back to World instead of Rise? Is it because it's a better game? I mean, I think a lot of people try to read too much into that. It's actually a very good discussion point because it's definitely been something that I've seen the community argue back and forth. And the reasoning is simple, to me at least, is simply like, look, right now there's a campaign going on, which already gives you kind of like, oh, people are jumping back into it. The community's going back into it. It's great. But the other thing for me, the main reason is I've always liked World more than Rise. That's not to say that Rise is bad. That's not to say that Sunbreak is bad. I think that those two games are absolutely phenomenal. I love them. And there's this, this notion within gaming communities. This isn't like exclusive to Monster Hunter. But there's this notion in gaming communities that when you're comparing two games, it's like, ah, one of them's the better one. The other one sucks. Like, that, that's, that's always something that kind of, like, comes up when it comes to games. So, like, if you like this one better, that means you hate this one. It's kind of like the, the age-old, oh, you like apples, huh? Why the fuck do you hate oranges, bro? What you got against oranges? Oh, oh you like pancakes? Why do you hate waffles, man? What do you got against the Belgians? Huh? I need to know. And, it, you know, that, that's, that's one of the things that usually happens, right? And that's what some of the discourse that I've seen around it. Not to me... It's simply, I like World more. I've always liked World more. But it was also great to take a massive break from World and Iceborne. Because if you play a game for a certain amount of time, which in my case was over 2,600 hours in the PlayStation version alone, plus like 250 or however many I had on the PC version, which probably totals up to like round about 2,800, 2,900 hours, give or take. Because I don't, I don't remember exactly how many hours I actually have on, on PlayStation. But, you know, after you play a game for damn near 3,000 hours, you know, it, it's, it's natural that you get a little bit tired of it. So, you know, taking a break from World and Iceborne was something that I was always going to do at some point. And that break was pretty much filled with playing Rise and Sunbreak, which was fantastic, right? The thing is, Rise and Sunbreak were the most recent game. Therefore, you know, you've already played Rise and Sunbreak. Maybe you haven't achieved every single thing that you wanted to do in there. Like, I never got to Investigation level 300, because that's one hell of a grind. But, um, you know, it, at the end of the day, Rise and Sunbreak is something that we've all played recently. And World probably feels fresh if people have taken a, a break from it. So it feels nice to come back and revisit it. Not to mention, I'm not even playing World Iceborne right now. I'm just playing World because I disabled Iceborne for this playthrough. Which also makes it interesting. The one thing that I wish is that uh, they didn't have the clagger, but do. You know, whatever. Fupple Bupple, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat, appreciate the support. Thank you. Started World like a month ago with over after a thousand hours in Rise. Been maining greatsword, just feel so powerful and witty in this game. Happy now playing as well. Yeah. It's the glass half full thing. Some think which do you like, others think which do you hate. Yeah, it's 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 just a strange thing for me. I, I, like, I also remember people always crapping on Dark Souls 2. And I was like, okay, look, Dark Souls 2 is probably the worst Souls game, in my opinion. But I also know that a lot of people, it's it's like their favorite. For a lot of people, Dark Souls 2 is their favorite. But even being the worst Souls game for me doesn't make it a bad game. 
It just makes it like the worst one in the Souls games, which are all very good. Therefore, Dark Souls 2 is also pretty good for me too. So, you know, it is what it is. Except for the frigid outskirts, bro. Fuck the frigid outskirts. That place can go die in a fiery pit of doom, okay? That place fucking blows. It blows big chunks, okay? Big chunk of Roonies. That's what I have to say about the frigid outskirts. <laughs> World has better traveling mechanics and mounting mechanics. I mean, if you're going to break things down, yeah, World has a lot of things better. That's not to say that Rise and Sunbreak also don't have things that they do better than World. Uh, wait, which way am I going? I got lost. Maybe this way? Do I like it or you hate it? It's way too binary. Yeah, with Capcom doing a return world campaign, do you guys think we might get another event quest or collab to get hype? Uh, I doubt it. And to be honest, I don't really want them to waste the development time on a feature like that. I want them to just focus on new things, personally. the fuck did I even get? Oh, I probably have back here. Oh, there you are. There you are, Fiverr. Where are you going? Where are you going, little buddy? Where are you going? Teach my palico how to do trap things. Getting lost in the ancient forest? Nah. Well, mostly I'm getting lost because I'm paying more attention to chat than what I'm doing in-game, which is usual. Uh, I think I saw him go this way, right? Yeah. A camp here would make our lives so much easier. Let's finish up so they can get to it. <clears throat> How's it going today, Rui? Going pretty well, with the exception of my little driver mishap. Wait, I'm not supposed to go up? I think I am. Because right now it's telling me to go down. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did I go too fast for you, Mr. Grimmelkine? I'm so sorry. Maybe, uh, keep up. I'm gonna beat you to it. Look, look, I'm faster than you. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll hear you out. What business do you have with the bug trappers? We're here on investigation. We could really use your help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We hope we could become friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wish to become a member of the Bug Trappers? Yeah, 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 yeah. Meowster is the bravest fighter in the whole research commission. You are fleet of foot and know the forest paths. I suppose you are qualified. Yeah, 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 very well. We welcome you into the Bug Trappers. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Our warriors carry this gadget as a symbol of our tribe. Take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, now we can use the, um, the flash fly thing. Which is not going to be particularly useful for our next hunt, but, you know. Also, I wonder if we can go and find these over on the Wild Spire Wastes while we're at it. That would be good. Does World crash for you? Uh, no. I mean, we've done two streams so far. And we're playing in, like, 4K. No issues whatsoever. Might be a specific GPU thing with your, uh, setup? Maybe? I don't know. So, let's see. Wild Spire Wastes. Who's there? Linian Researcher, let's go, baby, let's go. Rise was made for those who want to grind. World was made for those who want to become a part of the game. It's like the biggest problem is I'm, I'm not even against the grind. I just feel like the progress of leveling up investigation takes too long. Because that's one thing that people... They like to point out that I always talk about how I think that hunts should last longer. But then I won't grind out uh, investigation level 300 in Sunbreak. 
And the reasoning is, I do want hunts to take longer. I want longer hunts. But at the same time, it's gonna fucking suck if I do a hunt and it's 15 minutes and, you know, I have a gauge about this big to fill up. And that 15 minute hunt fills this. It's like, that, c come on, man. You know, you gotta be reasonable. You just gotta be reasonable, I feel like. You know? Uh, anyway. Lion, Lionian Researcher, let's talk with him. I don't know if I can do this thing yet here, but we'll find out. Anyway, it's pretty close. My man's pretty close. I hated the investigations. I didn't hate the investigations, I thought they were fun. I just hated how long it took to level up. I feel like it takes way too long to level up. Which, in a way, it basically incentivizes you to just grab four people and wail on the monster, which I've also done a couple of times. I just feel like it gets a little bit old just wailing on a monster nonstop. Not being able to play with people that are not of similar level was a terrible idea. That I agree. That I agree. Oh, we have the doodles now, so I don't even need to talk with him, but we'll do it anyway. Hmm. Grimmel kinds in this region are known as the protectors. I often find traces of them right around this area. Well, now you're the expert tracker. You know what to do. Pick up the trail and the scout fly will guide you to the Grimmel Kim's home. I were a little younger, buy my curly toenails. Oh, God! Oh, <laughs> my curly toenail, <laughs> bro! That is disgusting. I can't be the only one. Oh my god, my curly toenails, <laughs> dude! What the fuck? I didn't remember that. <laughs> my curly toenails. Actually, let me get this. Oh, because I, I do have the AC going. <sighs> My curly toenails. Yes, that's exactly the image I needed to see right now. Thank you, Linian researcher. It's not disgusting if that's their natural toe situation. Look, I can't think of a single animal where curly toenails would be an acceptable situation, all right? Like, not one. Not one single animal. Okay? Anyway, let's find them Grimmel kinds. Am I tracking them or not? Yes. Okay, we need to find more, because otherwise the scout flies won't pick it up. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Aren't claws pretty much toenails? No, 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 no. None of this, none of this backtrack now. Curly toenails, you know exactly what we're talking about. They're bent backwards, all right? And it's disgusting, no matter which way you look at it, okay? I just get visions of Margaret at this point, thinking about curly toenails. Every person with curly toenails in chat feeling real awkward now. Like, look, if you have some kind of a, you know, some kind of a condition, like, I'm sorry for you. I've, you know, I'm not, I'm not making fun of that, but, I mean, come on, man. Other than somebody that has a very specific condition. Curly toenails? Oof. That, that's just not right. Now I can't drink my Lucasaid, so... <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's, let's do a quick, uh, a quick subject, subject swap, huh? What about that, uh, elemental charge blade, huh? We're still, we're still gonna do it. Still gonna do it. I, I, I believe last stream I crafted the, uh, the thunder charge blade from, um, from our good buddy, Tobi Kadashi. Tobi Kadashi. Oh, here's another drawing. Doodles. Got him. Yoink. Okay. They've got the scent. 
Now, before we continue, I'm going to pick up on these nodes. Bro, I... There's something about me and mining. I don't know about you guys. I love mining. In games. I mean, obviously not in real life. No, I don't think I'd enjoy that. But like in video games, there's something brutally satisfying about putting pickaxe to the earth. Must be... Must be my dwarven inclinations. Like, bro, I just want to mine. Let's go. Is it the dwarf in you? It might be the dwarf in me, yeah. I just want to, like, take a pickaxe, put it in the ground. Yep. Jason Yarbro, thank you very much for the soul. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Good day to you. I'm glad to watch you plan world again. Watching you now makes me want to jump back in and give Charge Blade a try. Bro, Charge Blade. Mmm. Tasty. Especially in world. Dude, world Charge Blade. Peak Charge Blade. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy, diggy hole. Diggy, diggy hole. Mining in real life ain't that bad. I mean, I don't know about that, dude. Like, I, I think you would probably have a different opinion if you had to work in a coal mine or something. I don't think you'd think, oh, this actually is not that bad. You know, getting black lung, you know, this is fine. No, I don't, I don't think... I don't think you'd, uh, you'd feel the same way. <laughs> but like, in video games, I love doing it, dude. You still planning to make Rathian Charge Blade? Yep, I will. I mean, it's just good business, you know? I'm gonna try to include as much elemental Charge Blade as possible. But, you know, Rathian is just gonna hard carry us. Rathian is just an absolute beast. And a thing of beauty, you know? Just beat the game last night, got the Inferno ending. What? 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 What game? What are we talking about? Oh, Lords of the Fallen. Okay. Like, I was like, what? Inferno ending in Monster Hunter World? What's going on? Uh... Inferno ending. You know what's the dumbest thing about Inferno ending? I think it's really dumb. Like, look, I, I like the game a lot, but I think that Inferno ending is really stupid. And the reasoning behind that is... So, guys, for those of you who don't know, in Lords of the Fallen, there's a bunch of different endings that you can get. And Inferno ending is the ending where you, you know, you just go on and you worship the god of deer. And you're like, oh, I'm going to worship you, and I'm going to do all these things for you, god of deer. I'm going to become your champion. Blah, 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 blah. Inferno is kind of like pyromancy in regular Dark Souls. So the coolest thing about Inferno ending, I don't know if they've changed this, but when I first played the game, if you were to do Inferno ending, which my plan was like, I'm going to do an Inferno character for the Inferno ending. You do the Inferno ending, and you can't get to Inferno spells because you don't kill the final boss. And it just makes you go like, so, so wait a minute, I do the ending related towards the infernal boss, and that means that I don't get the infernal spells? This just kind of feels like it was not a good idea. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, it's true. <laughs> At least it was. I don't know if they changed it. It definitely was like that when I did it. Uh, I don't know if it's been fixed on PS5 or not. I haven't played it in a while. Like, I played... Listen, you guys need to understand. I played the breaks off of that game. Me and Wada, we did almost everything there was to do in Lords of the Fallen. Except the... Except for the trophies that required you to get every single armor and every single weapon. Because those were just getting tedious as fuck. So... But we did pretty much everything there was to do in that game. And it was a lot of fun. We had a blast, but the game still had a lot of problems. But the team seems to be working on it consistently. I wish them the best. So I might or might not have started re-downloading World on PC. One of us. One of us. One of us. <laughs> oh, man. Deep Rock Galactic Stream when? Dude, I am tempted. I am tempted to eventually start, like, a Deep Rock Galactic thing. The thing is, I feel like I need to learn a whole new game. 
And yeah, I don't know. I jumped into it once and it, you know, my very initial impressions, I was like, oh, let me just see if I can figure out how to, how to do this thing. And it felt like it's much more a game where you need to have someone who's mining than someone who's shooting than someone who's doing something else rather than playing it solo, I feel like. But I'm not sure. Because I've also heard from people that swear by it being an amazing solo experience. So I don't know, but it is definitely something that would require quite a bit of dedication. And right now I'm going through a very unhealthy phase in my life. Okay, guys, I've had a a, a terrible relapse for those of you that aren't aware. Uh, uh, yeah, the blizzards got me in their hooks again. I'm playing World of Warcraft. It's terrible. I would not recommend to anybody. You definitely should not do it. But yeah. God damn. You guys see that gecko? It's like darting around. Also, why can I not pick up any of these bones? That's strange. Maybe the bones are somewhere else. No, I feel like they're here. Maybe in here? No, this is the palicos. There's no bones here. They're hitting me up. Man, I got two friends back in that game and one on the fence. They're hitting me up now. I can't do WoW again. Yeah, I'd, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. Especially if you're someone like me where you just you just enjoy doing content, right? As opposed to you don't just want to do... Build the camp here. You don't we'll just want to do just. like the ultimate endgame situation. You want to actually do the content and appreciate the, the stuff that's been done. Bro, it's such a mess. I, I, I don't want to start talking about it, though, because I know that most people here don't care about that game, so whatever. But let's just say that it's a goddamn mess. It's a fucking mess if you're trying to figure that stuff out. Is that a Diablos? Oh, no, no, no. Hey, uh, Dibbles, I'm... I'm outie, bro. I'm out of here. See ya! get anyone thinking about World of Warcraft into world? Yep, pretty much. Wow, retail or hardcore? Retail. You can pay more and skip all the content though, Rui? Yeah, I know. I just, I just like, listen, I make it a habit of if I'm playing a game, I have no intention of skipping content because if the content's not worthy of being played, then it's also not worthy of being skipped. It's that simple. It's like, if your content is not worthy of being played, it's also not worthy of being skipped. It's just not worthy. There. Game over. So, we've gotten both the Grimmel kinds. Uh, I'm thinking if I want to level anything up. I don't think I'm leveling anything up right now. We're going to keep leveling up uh, Healer, because he has Healer by default, I think. So we'll just keep leveling that up. And then eventually, we're probably going to go for the Coral Horn for attack up and all that bullshit. Okay, so we're going to go <laughs> beat up on our guy, our poor Zora Magdros. Now our strange relationship with Zora Magdros is about to reach a new plateau. We're going to capture it. Say it with me. Capture an Elder Dragon. See, guys, we should have known from the start that this wasn't going to work. Look at this. We're gonna capture an Elder Dragon. When have we ever captured an Elder Dragon? When has that ever been a thing? Rory, can you do regular world armor reactions? I mean, I can. I guess I've never done those. Is that what you guys want? You guys want the old school armor reactions? Oh yeah. <laughs> How long is the approximate playtime for Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen? I have no idea. I don't remember. I think I probably spent like over a hundred hours on my first time. First time? You can probably do it faster. It's pretty long. <clears throat> Yep, 
Yes, fine. We'll do it in a bit. Tell you when my grandfather... I'm just going to do looks, though. I'm not going to go over skills, because we all know skills. So we're going to do looks, okay? We're just going to do looks. And then when we get to high rank, I'll start rating the weapons as we, you know, as we get through those. I'm not going to do low rank weapons, because they change in appearance reasonably fast. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Clean, ads are automatic now on YouTube. There's not a whole lot I can do about that. I mean, here's the thing. I can turn them off. The problem about turning off ads on YouTube is that ads are directly linked to the algorithm. So turning off ads on, on a video or on a live stream, what's going to happen is... Basically, your live stream's reach gets cut in less than half. And I wish I was exaggerating. I'm not. I'm not exaggerating. If you don't put ads on your live streams or on your videos like I've tested it, it cuts your reach to your potential audience in less than half. So it's like there's two paths to YouTube. Either you put ads or your video doesn't get sent out. It's that, it's that simple. Like... Because, like, for instance, ads interrupting the live stream, I fucking hate those. I hate those. As a matter of fact, I have it on the lowest possible setting. Like, I, I can even show you guys, because since I'm streaming on PC, I can actually show you. Let me, let me, let me show you. We can go to the stream settings, which is here. And then the stream settings, if we go to monetization, uh... As you guys can see, there's the... Whoa, 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 whoa. There's the live ad settings. Choose your ad frequency conservative. Like, that's it. I put it on the lowest possible setting. The problem is... And here's the interesting thing. I haven't tested this, but probably going the conservative route is already diminishing the reach that the stream can get. So, like, if I was to put it on balance or aggressive, it would probably increase the amount of people that I would be able to reach as well. Wouldn't surprise me at all. But, uh, you know, that's just something that I need to balance out. That's just the way that the YouTube algorithm works, and there's nothing that I can do about it. It fucking blows. You can't even use ad blocker anymore? I don't even disincentivize people from using If you want to use ad blocker, if you're able to do it, personally, I don't care. I don't care. Like I said, I do the ad stuff because it reaches more people. I've tested it, and I know that's how it works. Because personally, I would rather turn that shit off because I think live streams with ads in the middle kind of blow. I would rather have like one ad when you arrive at the live stream, you see one ad and then you get to go. And then one ad at the end of the live stream and to me that, that'd that be fine. But unfortunately, like I said, that fucks with your reach. How aggressive is aggressive? <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> but judging by what YouTube has a tendency to do on my podcasts, is probably pretty fucking aggressive. And by the way, that's another interesting thing. Because I know that sometimes people, you get, you guys go on to the podcast, you're like, hey, Rurikon, what the fuck, bro? There's one ad every five minutes. They've actually taken control away from us in that situation. All we can do now is uh, enable mid-rolls or disable mid-rolls. We no longer get to choose. Because the way that I used to do it is I would, I would tell YouTube, okay, generate the ads. And it would generate the ads. Then I would go into the video... And I would manually remove a bunch of the ad spots so that it would only have like one ad every 30 minutes, give or take. I would manually go into every video and I would remove the a bunch of ads to make sure that the ads were not just like every five minutes or whatever. Now we can't do that anymore. YouTube's just like, nah, bro. Fucking eat all of this. It's like, okay, so, hey, it is what it is. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. It's just, as a creator, that's just... You know, like, I, I don't want to keep talking about ads and all of that shit because I know it's not an interesting topic. But to give you guys an idea, for the longest time, I fucked myself over because I said, no, mid-roll ads is bullshit. I'm never going to use mid-roll ads. For years, I think it was like over 10 years in which I was like, I am not going to use mid-roll ads. This is bullshit. And then I started noticing. I was like, bro, my videos, they just don't reach people. And then one day I'm like, okay, let's just turn on ads. The moment I turned on mid-roll ads, my viewership was like, whoosh, 
I was like, what the fuck? Like, literally nothing changed. I didn't change my content. I didn't change the way that I did videos. I didn't change my upload schedule. I didn't change anything that could have an effect. The only thing I changed was like, I enabled mid-roll ads. And I was like, wow. All right. Very well. <laughs> Which is, uh, you know, it, it's like, there's just, it, it really sucks. It, it really sucks because I lose a lot of control over when ads get placed and whenever this shit happens. But at the end of the day, if you want your content to reach people, uh, you just, there's nothing you can do. It is what it is. Unless you're like a YouTube golden boy, then you can probably have some leverage. But I don't even have a fucking YouTube plaque at 200,000 subs. So you know how much YouTube likes my ass. Base defenses are solid. All this left is get this operation done. Are you ready? Let's get ready to rumble. What do we got? Wait, there's still optional quests. Oh, I still haven't done these. Twenty bubble cactuses in getting gulped in the waste. Maybe we'll do. Maybe we'll do these real quick. I wonder if I can make the the pro pro transporter gloves. Can I make the Pro Transporter Gloves? That would be very nice. Video idea recommendation comparing Monster Hunter World to Monster Hunter Rise. The good, the bad, the ugly. Ties together for hopes for wilds. I don't remember if I've done something like that already. I might have. But we could revisit it. <clears throat> that is not a bad idea. Tell you what, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll take a mental note of that. Forge equipment, armor, let's see. It would be cool. <clears throat> I can make the pro transporter gloves. Were you taking it slow? Oh yeah. Like, listen, we are gonna be taking it very slow because I want to take my time. I want to chat with you guys. We're gonna have a good time. That's the point of this, because we've already played this game. Like, I'm not I'm not speedrunning to the end. So you guys wanted me to do uh, my traditional reviews of armors and whatnot. I mean, we'll just go through all the ones that we currently unlocked, and we can, we can take a look at it. Oh, it doesn't show you, like, the full skills. Or does it? No, it does. It's just this only has hunger resistance. So the default letter set is the default letter set. There's not really a whole lot to say there. I think it looks good. It's whatever. It's not really a big deal. Chainmail, pretty much the same thing. Even though the helmet looks a little bit goofy. Not the biggest fan of that helmet design right there. But I'll take it. The rest of the armor, though, looks really good. Looks like a proper chainmail. All good. Hunters. Now, this is actually uh, a really cool one because I like the goggles on the head. You know those goggles that he's got on the head? I dig those. I think it's a good look. I like the cloak. The cloak also looks very good. It's got some nice metal pieces over there on the left side. And it has something that I like, which is guild iconography in the chest. I always like guild iconography in my armors. Like whenever there's an armor piece that has guild iconography, I dig it. Usually, unless it's something that I don't like. Like for instance, I think that uh, Teostra has guild iconography and I don't like that one. But this one looks good. I like it a lot. Bone. Bone looks badass, but I like the one that's got like the tattoos maybe a little bit more. But yeah, this bone armor looks badass. So like big W, big wins all around, no complaints. So, so far, we've got pretty good looking armors. The one thing that I don't like about this one all that much is the helmet. The helmet is a bit much for me personally, but I still think that thematically, it's a very good looking set. Vespoid. Don't like it. Don't, I just, I just don't like the look of it. I, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot to say about it other than don't like it. I look at it and I don't like it. I don't like the way that helmet looks. I don't like the way it's got like the, the one thing on the side there on the left, on the left leg. I do like the clutch claw though. The clutch, the clutch, not the clutch claw, the slinger. The slinger looks cool. But like the rest of the sets, like, eh. I guess the belt, you can cut. No, you can't salvage the belt because it's got that big floppy piece. That's probably from the belt, right? 
Yeah, that's from the belt. No, mm -mm. uh uh, can't salvage it. Nope, sorry, don't like it. It's theme appropriate, but I don't like it. I think it's ugly. Sorry, feels bad. The Kestodon gloves look good. I mean, it's just a set of gloves, it's whatever. The Gajau feet. Huh. These actually look very interesting. I dig it. I dig the Gajau feet. I'm into it. Jagras. I feel like I need to swap weapons for this one. Give me, give me a second. We're gonna swap weapons to get a better look at it. Wait, we can swap equipment here, right? Uh, um, change equipment. <clears throat> Swap that over to... Where's duels? Duels. Duels are like the best free to preview equipment because they take up the least amount of space. So we were at Jagras. Yeah, I like that cloak a lot. The Jagras cloak looks super solid. I like the colors on it. The yellow looks good. It's got, see, it's got Ildi guild iconography right there. Look at the guild iconography on the chest. I like it. Big W. Jagras armor set. Like it a lot. Looks good. Looks very good. Big win. Love it. Kulu set. Huh. I remember not being the biggest fan of the Kulu set for some reason. Probably has something to do with the fact that uh, Kulu is... Spanish for ass. That's something you guys didn't need to know, but it's Kulo with a C. <clears throat> Kulo with the C is uh, Spanish for ass. Uh, I can dig it. I can dig it. It's got like the whole desert theme to it. Looks cool. I like the colors, the little feathers and stuff. Yep, big W. Very much like Jagras. Kulu looks friggin' amazing. Aloy, don't like it. I think that helmet looks ridiculous. It's got guild iconography, which is a little bit of a saving grace, but mm -mm. also the metal skirt, never liked it. Never liked it. I don't think there's a single armor set with the metal skirt that I can dig. It's weird. I, I, I can't get into it. Hell, I don't even like the legs all that much. But the legs is probably the one salvageable part in this armor. This almost looks like Robocop. Not in a good way either. Nah. Sorry. Sorry, Aloy. Don't like it at all. Aloy? Alloy. Sorry, I... I <laughs> Look, man. I'm Portuguese, okay? Cut me some slack. So yeah, I don't... I don't dig this one. I ain't about that life. Puke! Puke looks good. And by the way, Puke is very similar to the set that we see in Monster Hunter Wilds, actually. The set of the Hunter in Monster Hunter Wilds is very similar to Puke. It's almost like a mix of Puke and Hunter. It's a mix of this with this. But yeah, Puke looks really good. I like it. It's a good looking set. There's not a whole lot to say about it. I feel like it should potentially be a little bit more colorful because Puke is like giga colorful. So I feel like it should have a little bit more color, but they're going for more of a stealth approach. And I think it even comes with stealth skills. No, no, but it comes with survival skills, I guess. But uh, I like it. I like Puke. Bear off. I mean, what can I say? It's Baroth, okay? Look, there's... <laughs> there's not much to say... <laughs> there's not much to say about Baroth, all right? <laughs> but looks dope? Hey, man, there's no accounting for taste. <laughs> you know? It is what it is. Nah, I don't like it. <laughs> I think it's ugly. <laughs> I think it's real ugly. 
Although I will say, there's something to be said about those shoulder pads. Those shoulder pads look badass. But that's pretty much where it ends. <laughs> All right? I, I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of Baroth. Now, Jura. I like Jura. I like Jura a lot. It reminds me a lot of, like, uh, gladiator-type armor. So I can dig it. Even though it feels a little bit floaty, if that makes sense. Like, I wish some of the lines were sharper. There's a lot of, like, rounded lines here, and I wish there were more sharp lines, but I like it. I like the overall aesthetic of it. I particularly like the Spartan-type helmet that it's got on top. So I can dig the Juratos, for sure. Kadachi. I like Kadachi. I like a lot of the Kadachi stuff. Like, the, the Charge Blade of Kadachi looks really... Actually, is it the Charge Blade or the Gun Lance? No, it's not the Charge Blade. I actually forget about it. Kadachi Charge Blade looks like ass. The... I mean, the, at least the one that I have right now. The Gun Lance for Toby Kadachi, though, is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you guys have ever seen. It's one of my favorite weapon designs that came with Monster Hunter World. Like, look at this. Look at this thing. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Oh, I can't preview it, can I? I don't think I can preview it. Oh, no, you can. Uh, let me see. Where is it? Toby Kodachi. Ah, oh, damn it. I need to circle back to the left after I do that. Yeah, look. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, this is not the final version. We can't see it yet. Yeah, the beginning version of it fucking blows. This version sucks. But the final version of it looks amazing. The final version of the Toby Kadashi Gun Lance looks really good. So, yeah, it's, it's not this one. I can't show it to you guys yet. But yeah, Toby Kadachi set, I dig it. I think it looks good. It's a good looking set. I, my, my approval. No, no more, like no big uh, comments on it. I think it just looks really good. Anjanath. See, Anjanath in World looks good. I feel like in Rise and Sunbreak, it looks too pink. There's too much pink on it. Like, in here, it looks good. I can dig it. Doesn't this come with, like, uh, artillery, by the way? Just out of curiosity, real quick. Yeah, there's a point of artillery in there. Where is it? Where's the artillery point, actually? Uh, we need we need to actually get to the bottom of this. Artillery on legs. Okay, we're gonna have to craft these bad boys. We need one Anjanath pelt. We're gonna be crafting ourselves some, uh, Anja Greaves for sure. <laughs> Rathian! The male version looks alright. I know I hate the female version. The female version of this armor looks terrible. But even the male version is not particularly impressive. I'm not a fan of, like, the, the helmet. I don't like the way that helmet looks. I ain't about that life. But the rest of the armor looks pretty good. But yeah, that's uh, my review of the armors we've seen so far. Now... <clears throat> Let me go ahead and swap some stuff around. Why well, go for artillery at the moment? We're also going to be crafting the uh, the charge blade from the charge blade from Rathian. Bro, I don't know what's going on with my throat. I just feel like I can barely speak right now. I think it's the cold weather, it's messing with me. I'm just gonna get Chef's Choice. Doesn't really matter what we do right now, we just want fresh food. What are you talking about? Female Rathian looks awesome. I mean, look, like I said, that's the beauty of Monster Hunter armors, is that they're going to- different armors are going to appeal to different people. I don't like the way it looks, it's a good thing other people do. What temperature is it? Uh, it's been really cold this morning. 
the thing is also, I, I don't think we have a whole lot of humidity right now. So there's just like a lot of dry cold. And that might also cause me to maybe dry my throat or something. I don't know. I don't know the reasoning. Maybe I'll cook up some tea real quick to, to help with that. If you guys don't mind waiting, that is. That might be the um, the wise decision. Oh, we're not doing we're not doing the thing yet though. Let me get these eggs. After the eggs, we'll we'll go get some tea. Feeling the charge blade today, are we? Holy crap! The official monster hunter account. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna mod the official monster hunter account. <laughs> I, th I think Jono might have had the wrong the wrong account selected <laughs> when he showed up on stream. <laughs> Hi, Jono. How you doing? At least I'm assuming it's Jono because we're in European time right now. I think it'd be a little bit too early for the um, American CM to pop in. <laughs> Let me see. <clears throat> So we're just supposed to get herbivore eggs. Okay, these are giga easy. Rory is now official, baby. I've I'm I already have like the the official stickers and everything. <sighs> Ryozu, dude. One of these days, I st I still need to like find a way to be able to interview Ryozu. Like I said, there's like three people in the industry that I really want to interview. And one of them's Ryozu. We need to make this happen at some point, okay? <laughs> I want to have a long conversation with Ryozu. We're, we'll make like a, a Third Fleet podcast episode out of it. Like, look, he, he won't even need an interpreter, okay? Because like, I'll bring my own interpreter when the time comes. What would you ask him? Well, I mean, it's like I'm not gonna think up of something like off the top of my head, but I can assure you, given the opportunity, I would have a list long enough to be able to talk to him for the whole day, easily, for the whole day. Twenty-four hour special podcast. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, of course. I'll bring my own interpreter. It'll be fine. Nah, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely feeling the charge blade, uh, Jono. I'm assuming it's Jono. Uh, I've uh, I've been telling people that I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing elemental charge blade as much as possible. But like after you jump in and you see that gorgeous, that absolutely beast that is the Rathian charge blade. That makes the decision to play Elemental Charge Blade really friggin' hard, I'll tell you that right now. It makes it very, very hard, okay? Because you ju you're just staring at it, right there, at the smithy. And that Rathian Charge Blade is staring right back at you. And you're just like, bro, I need this. I need this. Rory is so luckily, normally the small monsters harass you the entire way. No, 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 no. I'm just, I'm just good. Okay, I'm very experienced at egg delivery. Rathian charge blade, you say, makes notes. Yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> Dude, Rathian charge blade early on is so gorgeous, and you can, you can access it very early. Like if I really wanted to get it, I could have gotten it by now. It's just, I'm trying my best to also keep these entertaining, and I know that once I get that Rathian charge blade, it's gonna... Things are gonna get downright nasty. Why am I giving the egg to the handler? Hey, handler, I brought you this from the wilds. Quick, let's get down on one knee. Marry me. Handler, I bring tribute. <laughs> handler, please. I bring tribute. Marry me! <laughs> She's gonna eat it. She probably would. <laughs> she would eat it. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, I can't talk to him now. I forget what his quest is, but yeah, he does have a quest in the Wild Spire Wastes. Clip that, send it to Ruri's wife. Hey, don't! Shh! My wife doesn't watch my streams. She doesn't need to watch my streams, alright? You guys, come on. Ruri recommendation on early game Lance. I mean, very early game, probably Kuluyaku, because with Kuluyaku, uh, you get like, uh, I think it's got positive affinity. It's one of the earliest lances with positive affinity. So like you get that, but after that I would probably start shooting for, if I'm playing exclusively lance, I'd probably start shooting for elemental lances, pretty much any elemental lance that you can get, and then start trying to build elemental damage, because elemental lance is uh, pretty good. So it's all about how much effort do you want to put into it. But I'm also a glutton for punishment, which is why I'm always chasing element. Yeah, the Toby is also very good, simply because a lot of monsters in base world are have some degree of weakness to thunder damage. So it makes that very efficient. Um, let's go ahead and... No, let's just get the Chef's Choice. <laughs> Listen, I am a handler enjoyer, okay? It's that simple. You'll never hear me badmouth the handler. As a matter of fact, I, I wished that the handler would have gotten, um, I wish the handler would have gotten more, what's the word? I wish the handler would have gotten a little bit more protagonism in the final fight. Like, one of the dream scenarios that I have, thank you very much, Jono. Uh, one of the dream scenarios that I have for the handler during the Xeno Jiva fight is like, imagine, because I, if I remember correctly, that, that, the, the Wyvarian from the first fleet, he gets, like, hit or something, and that's why they all have to retreat. Wouldn't it be amazing if, because of that, like, you're fighting Zenojiva, and now you don't really have backup, so the handler shows up with a Wyvern Heart Heavy Bow Gun, and she just goes, I'm here to help you, pard! <laughs> See, that scenario to me would be amazing. Just, like, imagine the handler showing up at the, the Zenojiva encounter, with a wyvern heart heavy bow gun just popping off. <laughs> like, that'd be amazing, dude. Ah, oh, that'd be so amazing. Like Yamogi! Exactly! Just like Yamogi. Rambo style. See, that's why I like Yamogi so much. Yamogi shows up and just like, ah! Da -da 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 ah, that was fun. Uh, let me go ahead. Wait, wait, wait. Let me go ahead and... Uh, no. No, no, no. Poogie. Poogie, no. Poogie, I'm trying to speak to the goddess. <laughs> this, I know that this annoys people. <laughs> it just makes me lean into it even more. <sighs> okay, let's go ahead. Post. Prickly predicament. And now, this is just picking up stuff over at, uh, over at the Wildspire Wastes. It'd be funny if Yamogi didn't shatter the immersion in that very moment. What, when she screams? Da 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 I think that's fine. They taught me how to talk to Jagras. I didn't even know it was possible. Next time I run into some, I'll make him Tail Raiders. Oh, okay. That's what he wanted to tell me. He'll probably tell you the same thing about other mo other monsters that he can learn from. I think you'll eventually, if I remember correctly, we also have to do more quests for these guys. So, yeah. Grab me a spider. Doink. I think I've already gotten one of those. 
Vaporonid. <clears throat> We're gonna go find some bubble cacti. I found you a nice item, Meowster. We've already found one more camp in here, but I don't think we found all of them. I think there's probably one more. We found the one that's over here. We have one over here. We have one over here. Where's the one that I haven't found? Actually, I think that might be all. No, I think I'm missing one. Isn't there four camps in here? There might be only three. I know that I found the one that is the shortcut for Dibbles. Above seven. Well, that's the other hole that I just saw. This one? This is very close to the other camp. Yeah, yeah, you're right. This is one. See, I... I thought it was, but then I was like, this is so close to the other camp, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But okay, that works. Now we should have all the camps. I still need to find the camps in, um... The camps in the ancient forest, I don't have all of them. Okay, let's get them cacti. Thank you for streaming. I'm playing vicariously through you while I clean up the house. It is my pleasure, gentlemen. My pleasure. Let's see. This one. I love doing gathering runs. I think that gathering is a nice, like, in-between hunt activity. You know? Can't wait for the Wilds demo with a super hard hunt with only 10-minute timer. I wish they wouldn't show the, um, the flagship title this time around. You can build so much more anticipation that way. Let's take a look, see here. We got two more cactus around here. Two more cacti. Oh man, I think we're gonna we're gonna need some meat. You guys think we need some meat? I think we need some meat. Oh, he's still alive, you bastard! Why didn't you die along all the other ones? That would have been perfect! That's what I'm talking about right there. Meat's back on the menu, boys. Let's go ahead and also charge up this bad boy. Okay. Might as well pick up some bones while we're at it. You know, you never know when you need bones. Especially early on in Monster Hunter, you always want to pick up as many bones as possible. So that there's never a situation you're in where you're like, Oh man, if only I had picked up those bones, I'd be in such a better shape right now. And naturally, just because I like it, we're going to mine those two nodes down there, too. Urkan, how's the return to world treating you? Very relaxing. Very fun. Loving it. Wild needs gauntlet weapons? No, 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 no. Magnetic hammer. We need the magnetic... Oh, wow, really? It's about to spawn. It should be spawning any second now. Feels bad, man. How you gonna do me dirty like that? What's wrong with you? This 
scout flies have reached their destination. That's any Monster Hunter ever. People really do undervalue the importance of gathering early game. Not just early game. I feel like it should be something that... Not that you have to do, but that you'd want to do late game. Like, for instance, in Iceborne, I feel like the, the Steam thingamajig, like, you never really go to gather. Almost. Anymore. Like, you do it a little bit early on, but then you're just like, bro, why? I just go to the Steam thing and boof. Explosion of, um, an explosion of materials. Straight up. <clears throat> Uh, there's one more cactus in there that I missed. Miz and Jamal, thank you very much for making five people grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. And that's people one, two, so three, four, five. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Oh, here it is. It was hiding. It was hiding. I still want to go all the way up uh, to the top. Any monsters you want to see a new variant of? To be honest, whenever it comes to monsters in a new Monster Hunter game, one of the things that I want the most is new monsters. You know? It's like, sure, I want to have, like I said, I want to have like some type of a sand whale fight. But other than that, what I want the most is just new monsters. Holy crap. Mr. Swifty, thank you very much for making five people grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat. That's one, two, three, four, five. Thank you. Thank you very much. You guys are too kind. I appreciate it. Oops. Sorry. I was messing with something because, like, Stream Elements gets a little bit too excited when there's gifted memberships. <laughs> thank you. I can see a new horse or giant flying wyvern being the flagship to go with the wild theme. Uh, I think a flying wyvern. Dealson, thank you very much for the souls, for becoming grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Oroshi, Karen, and wilds. That would also mean regular Karen, though. Sure you want that? Where was the... Oh, yeah, I want to go get this one specifically. Not needle bear. <laughs> underwater combat in wilds. Like I've already said, I'm not against underwater combat. I'm against... Try underwater combat. Okay, I don't want the old school underwater combat because that was not very good. I want some new form of underwater combat. Maybe even have like, what if we had specific weapons for underwater? You know, like you can have, let's say, three or four different weapons specifically for underwater. Instead of using your charge blade underwater, because it doesn't make a lot of sense, you instead get like three or four weapons that are exclusively for underwater combat. How about that? Wait, was this it? This is not the thing that I was looking for. Where is the one that I was looking for? I think it's this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tough skin fruit. Like a harpoon? Why not? Harpoon, trident, stuff that makes sense underwater. Yeah, for sure. I think that'd be awesome. Like, maybe even one of those, uh, you know those, those weapons that you take when you go snorkeling? I don't know what you call those. Is it a harpoon gun? I guess it can be. But like, there's different variants of a harpoon gun. But yeah, something like that. This is not, still not what I was looking for. Okay, 
I'm gonna need to get to the bottom of this because I'm going insane at this point. Is it too high? The thing that I'm looking for is up here. Spear gun. Yep, spear gun. Stuff like that. Yeah, for sure. What about if you had one that was just straight up a depth charge? You guys ever think about that? A depth charge. Gold Hercudrome. Yoink. Yoink. Wait, where does this go to? Oh, you could have just come this way. Okay. Ship mines. Yeah! The underwater version of a barrel bomb. Exactly. See, this is where I wanted to come to. I knew there was a bunch of cacti in here. Why were they not on the map? I guess it's because of the, how high we were. Man went back to charge blade. Yeah, I love charge blade in world. I think I might even like charge blade more than gun lance in world. If you go to the top, there's the upsurge cat. Yeah. See, that's what I wanted to do. I didn't realize that the timer was so tight. I thought I was still gonna have a minute after I picked up everything, but it's just like, yeah, this is okay, we're good, we're done, bye. Maybe I need to go there and do that. Think for you is worth a buy. If you've never played it, for sure. Although I would like to get like a remaster. <clears throat> so put me on that quest again, lady. We just need to go get something real quick. How do you prefer to play Charge Blade? SAD, baby. But I'm not using Iceborne DLC, so I don't even have access to Saw Blade. <clears throat> Doesn't online for 4U officially end May 2024 or something because of Nintendo? I still think it's mostly soloable. Am I wrong? I mean, here's the thing. It's worth playing even if you don't do G rank. Like, I like the story of For You so much and the mechanics and all of that that I think it's worth playing even if you just do the high rank. Let's see if Kegrin was right. There it is, big chonky boy. No. This is just a regular one. No, no, no. There it is. Boom. Dragon Bloom. Wait, I think we need to have the quest. Right? This doesn't just give you the stuff. I don't know. That's all we came here to get anyway. No, there it is. 
Add a dragon bloom to the ingredient list for delivering dragon blooms. Beautiful. Okay. We can go do our boy now. Oh man, we can get full fresh food? Hells yeah. I think Monster Hunter Wilds, if it has a simultaneous release across all platforms, hey, the success might actually go beyond Monster Hunter World. I think it's got potential for that. Because Monster Hunter World, in a lot of ways, was hindered due to the fact that you couldn't really do... You couldn't really play it on PC on release. All you could play it on was PlayStation and Xbox. And then only later it came to PC, and then also the expansion was delayed. If we're looking at a full-on, worldwide release for all platforms simultaneously... I think people are going to be surprised at how successful that thing is going to be. I think it will take over in a lot of ways. What's more important for hunting horn, you reckon? Element or songs? Mm. Songs. Work faster, you slack to life. Mm. <laughs> Quite a sight. Uh, just wait till we're finished. Soon, I hope. Uh, the second fleet always delivers. Mm. Mm. <sighs> this is gonna work. Chief. Commander! So? We'll get it ready by morning, I promise. I'll hold you to it. When the time comes, you know what to do. The operation will commence at daybreak. <laughs> Sounds like we got our work cut out for us, eh, old man? By next moonrise, Zora will be in chains. Get to your posts now! Use the cannons and ballista time. Wear the beast down! If you've been wounded, retreat to the rear camp! I should have kept pro carrier. Now, now. Let's go, Famalam. <clears throat> Load it up. Actually, I should be using the other cannon first.
Well, this guy's gonna bring in the last one. I'll fire this one off. <clears throat> Load it up, soldier. The music in this hunt is so good, though. Fire! By now, the other cannon should be loaded. I would imagine. But I'm gonna take a bomb, just in case it's not. Is it fully loaded? Oh my god. Bro, what have you been doing while I was away? Slacking is what? Come on, bro. Bro, these dudes are slacking big time. Big time slacking. Actually, there's this right next to this cannon. I think this has been changed. I don't remember it ever being something so close to a cannon. Mm, I think I'm gonna whiff. I'm gonna whiff this one, aren't I? It's too close. No, actually, it's fine. Come on, load it up. Load it up. You can move the cannons. You can. You can, uh... You can aim them slightly, like this. Come on, Palico. You're not gonna bring any bombs? Come on, bruv. Fire the cannon! Boom. I love how he's just sitting there looking and he's like, what are the, what are these humans doing? Proceed with caution. <clears throat> Please don't break my cannon, Zora. Damn it. It turned around. It's time to move over to the other cannon. Oh, and there's ammo right next to it too. Nice. Please don't blow up my cannon, Zora!
quests with Zora Magdros are actually way cooler when you do them in a group. Fire! These are some point blank blasts. Uh, is there ammo? Okay, give me one of these. This ballista ammo? I don't want ballista ammo, I want binder ammo. I don't know if there's any binder ammo up top. It's time to restrain this beast. Ready your binders. Oh, there's actually a cannon Come up, up here. The oh, here we go. On top of the barrier. A one-shot binder. Uh. I know that firing at him doesn't really do much. That's fine. It still feels nice to do, though. Look at him cheering us on. Good old Gaijin. I think that the um, the final Zora fight would have actually been way cooler if you had to go on his head and you had to go on his belly. Like, I still remember the amount of times I went on Zora's belly and people go like, wait, what? You can do that? I was like, yes! It is actually a really- wait, I'm not gonna be able to get anything else. I'm just gonna fire a list at him. Yes, you actually can go on the Zora's belly and beat his belly up. Just give me ballista ammo. Pew 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 pew. pew. Oh damn! No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh. him in the soft underbelly. Bro, I'm out of ammo for everything. I figured the fight would be over by now. Like, what the hell? There's only- Oh! They've replenished ammo in my cannon. Nice. The Palico's been loading that sucker up. Let's go. Damn it, make up your mind, Zora. Fire! What's the target's condition? It's still not weak enough to capture, sir. My can I love how he drops the cannonball and it breaks. That was one flimsy ass cannonball. Fire! No, we can't let that happen. Hunters, grab your trans 
transports and proceed to the mounting phase of the operation. Let's go. Get to a hedging post. Got it. Boarding that sucker now. This is where it really counts, partner. You can do it. I mean, as soon as the game lets me. Run its back, old man. Give us some orders. Find the magma cores on Zora's shell. Those are its weak points. So if you attack them, it'll wear the beast down. Watch out for that magma. It's stealing out those cores. That's one of those cores. Attack it. Wow. Hot, hot, hot. Should have brought some marshmallows. Good old lady. not really getting full value from it so I actually think now what I meant to do damn it no I saw some. Yeah, there we go. Zora Magdros is hot scale. I think there's another one up ahead. Um, grab one of these. I forgot to pick up. Yeah, isn't that one? No, I guess not. Well, we'll just bash him in his thick skull. I forget where the magma cores are. It's been a very long time. Isn't there one like in here, I think? Pretty sure there is. Nope. Oh, I can't go back up? Boom. Where's the entrance to the inside one? Okay. Oh, you can actually see it on the map. I'm an idiot. Yeah, here it is. This is the one I was looking for. I was on the corner that shouldn't have gotten hit. Come on, baby.
yours. We've spotted another core on Zora Magdros's head. Right. Hunters, make Prince head and attack that core with all you've got! Get ready to resupply the Hunters! It's time! Understood! Grab on! Eesh, eesh. Oh, get me out of there, bruv. Okay. One more magma core. Although I actually don't know if we can get to it. Can we even get to this magma core anymore? Because it's supposed to be, like, right here. It's on the inside somewhere. In order to get into it, would have to be, like, here? Oh yeah, you can. I can actually hit everything with this one.
This is the moment where you get to just basically hang out and get all the mining nodes. Which is very good loot, by the way. For this stage of the game, anyway. Whoop. Get all the mining nodes. Bonk. Can I break this? Yes, I can. Ah, uh, you can't go down there. See, usually you go down there, that's how you get to his belly, but he needs to be standing up. I wonder if you can actually get to his belly at this stage of the quest. I actually don't remember. There's the second barrier. There's another node right here. Don't mind me, boys! I've been working on the railroad all the day long day! I don't see anything. that water damage. Let's go, Aiden! Join the fight! Aiden is so hype. Here he comes, the goat.
See, if the master was a gunlance main, he would have finished the job. was really fast though i kind of seem to remember fighting ergi a little bit longer i mean i literally did one weak ass sad and it was like yeah i'm done i'm good no more of that capture operation and failure due to the sudden appearance of a mysterious black monster in zora right, magdros something let's get council underway first your reports where do we stand right now since it breached the great ravine We've lost track of it, sir. The situation has made it quite difficult for us. Leave it to the elf. Okay. Leave it to this elf. To lose track. Of a fucking Zora Magdaros, bro. Leave it to the elf. How do you lose track of a mountain, my guy? We lost track of it. Bro, what do you mean you lost track of it? He's literally the size of a mountain. It's not like he's a set of friggin' car keys, is he? No. Dude's the size of a mountain. It's not like you misplaced your smartphone. God damn, dude. It's elves, man. Elves. See you later, trans-conservative waifu. Oopsie, one second he was there and then he wasn't. Yeah. I'm sure he, he's just like, he did some substitution jutsu or some shit, you know? You just see Zora Magdras go like... Boom! And then suddenly there's a log. A tiny log in place of where this huge monster was. A million percent. <laughs> you ask a Wyvarian who's basically high all the time to track something. Yep. Yeah. However, I think we have a chance to salvage the situation if we can pick up its trail on the other side. Yeah, right. We've got some good news from the field team on that front. Okay. Tectonic movement from when Zora passed through created a fissure in the Great Ravine. That fissure is our ticket to catching up with the beast. There's no point. We exhausted our supplies during the last operation. Even if we did track it down, there's no way we'll be able to pull off anything of that scale. Hmm. Then what should we do, Commander? We'll have to send a ship to the guild. A ship? But with the skies and seas the way they are. It doesn't matter. We cannot proceed without notifying the guild of the situation. We should send word and wait for their decision. Captain, can I count on you? Never you worry, sir. I've been watching the sea churn and waiting for my chance to tame her again. It seems that the fissure in the Great Ravine has not only given us a path, but an opportunity as well. Together, we're going to brave whatever lies on the other side and find Zora Magdaros's trail. Hunters, head to the Great Ravine as soon as you're ready. Yes, sir. Sapphire Star, light your way. Dismissed. Ba -bum -bum -bum. Hey, Health partner, booster. Let's go on an expedition out in the Great Ravine. I'll tag along. Hmm. 
That black monster we've encountered in the past, Nergigante. Nergigante's arrival and subsequent disappearance always coincided with a certain event. That's right, the Elder Crossing. I had my suspicions, but his latest appearance proves there is a connection. I wonder. Seems we're not the only ones with a perennial interest in Zora Magdaros. Alright. Looks like we're also going to be getting some new quests. New products in stock. I don't think we get, um... Yeah, there's nothing here. It's just, like, some coatings. How are you boys doing? Culture exchange. Capture three protectors. I think it's more like save three protectors, probably. Royal relocation. Oh, yeah. Hurry back now. It's time, boys. You know what time it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, my God, dude. We're about, we're about to do some evil things. We are about to do some evil things. Okay, let me prepare my throat. <clears throat> you interested in bulking up the canteen with more ingredients? Now that's what I'm talking about. Take care of the quest getting yolked in the forest? We'll get that menu six-packed with ingredients. The canteen can't get yolk if I don't have that yolk. Go get my protein. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Guys, we gotta go get his protein. Like, what, what part of that did you not understand? And I also gotta eat my cookie. I'm entitled to a cookie. We've uh, beaten Zora Magros. Well, not really beaten him. We, uh... Actually, what did we achieve in that quest? We didn't really achieve much, did we? <laughs> when you get right down to it, we didn't really achieve much in that quest. Okay, so she's got new stock. Don't care. What else? We good? We good. It's time for the royal relocation, boys. Boys. Losing track of Zora is quite the achievement, though. True. Big true. Okay, buddy, give me the chef's choice. Give me Tobi Kadashi. You want that Tobi Kadashi? Yeah, buddy. This is gonna mess her up big time. I think I'll take health booster, thank you. Pum pum. Pum pum. Pum pum. Boro boro bum pum. Hey, partner! I'm getting goosebumps. You think a dwarf can do better? A million percent. Do you not? One hell of a sinus infection. Royal relocation. Ah, oh, brother. Here it comes, and so it begins. And so, wait, wait, wait. Before we do this, can we actually start getting some of those camps up? I keep forgetting to do that. Let's see if we can get some camps up. Need an Anjanath pelt that apparently we didn't get. We need a Rathian scale. 
Oh, we're definitely gonna get that. We're probably gonna have to hunt quite a few Rathians, I think. Games on sale on Steam worth getting. This is, unironically, my favorite game of all time. Base Monster Hunter World, favorite game of all time. So yes, I do think it's worth it. It's worth it at full price. It's worth it at this deep discounted sale. Hell, if you're getting the sale, get both of them, this and Iceborne. Why not? I wouldn't ignore Iceborne. Iceborne's amazing as well. The reason I'm doing the playthrough like this is because we're reliving the good old days. Bro. Chat, can you imagine anybody actually saying Iceborne is crap? Unironically, like imagine, imagine where you have to be in life to say something like that. Look, I understand Clutch Claw is not the best thing, but Iceborne was still fucking amazing. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, bro. Kidding me? Alatreon was an Iceborne. Fatalis was an Iceborne. You are crazy. It's Bambaro time. Somebody doesn't enjoy Bambaro time. Couldn't relate. How's Monster Hunter going? Absolutely outstanding. By the way, team, do remember if you're enjoying the stream, you can hit the like button. It really helps me out. So thank you very much for doing that. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Question, since Rui doesn't have Iceborne active, does that mean that he doesn't have access to the new weapon moves that came with Iceborne? Yup. So like, I don't have the, um... The friggin' chainsaw slash. And I don't have the wyvern steak blast. I don't have any of those things. Also don't have clutch claw. Nothing. Nothing. Guiding land's not the best from Capcom either. Bro, listen. Let me tell you something, okay? 90% of the people in this chat are not going to agree with you on that. A million percent. You're quite welcome to have that opinion, but... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I love the Guiding Lands. Guiding Lands was amazing. Is this a new save? Yep, brand new save. Hello! Who goes there? It's left. After the patch, but before? I played it before. It wasn't perfect. I still greatly enjoyed it, even before. Oh, not that. But I don't have antidote in my bars. Yeah, buddy. Okay, here we go. 
It begins. God damn it. I rolled right into its leg. to the faster <laughs> yeah. oh yeah dude Woo! I'm used to the faster pace of uh, rise at this point move sets in here are a little bit more deliberate Eesh! faster You're not gonna shame me again, Rathian. You've already had your turn. The one time I'm going to allow it this playthrough. Now you suffer. Tail chap! Wind buffet. My turn. No. No, like this. That was a fast tail cut. It's low rank. The reason I didn't get fast tail cuts, more fast tail cuts when I was doing world for the first time is because I didn't know how to play. This is low rank. You get tail cuts like super fast. Ooh, remember we need three of those. Rathian spikes. We're gonna be farming this old lady. I'm gonna be farming her to the nth degree, gonna get all the spikes. Bro, I'm gonna mount her right now. Watch, watch. Here comes the mount. I need to charge this up first. Before we do it, it'd also be good to charge up my weapon. Boys, shut up. Excuse me. We're good. Now then, let's mount her. Smack her right upside the head. Watch. Oh, oh, um, uh, oops. Okay, let's go back up then. Hey, yeah! Oh! Now I'm gonna break your pretty little head. Here it comes, here it comes, right now. Now is the time. Come on, baby, come on, baby. Damn it, why'd you have to go and do that? Well, punishment's coming. Punishment cometh!
I don't hunt monsters. I make art. <laughs> oh, man. Hells yeah, dude. Damn, that felt good. Did you see the absolute abuse this Rathian suffered at our hands? Good lord. Hurricane, can you explain something? What is that white circle when you mount? What does it mean? Uh, the white circle when you mount, you mean on the map, I'm assuming. Basically, the wider the circle is, the further you are from being able to actually get, like, a, a down. As the circle tightens and it becomes thinner, that means that you're about to get a down. At least I think that's what you're talking about. I'm not sure if that's not it. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Why do you want to destroy Rathian so much? I'm making her charge blade. Wakey, wakey! Eggs and bakey! Ooh, that was, uh, yeah. It always feels good. It never doesn't feel good to bully a Rathian. Ooh, a Rathian plate. Nice. Although I'd rather have a spike, but the spikes are rare as hell for whatever reason. Though to be honest, if I get a poison sack, I think I'll just craft the damn thing. Wait until Goldian comes for you. No, 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 you get you got that wrong, Wada. Goldian's not gonna come for me. I'm gonna come for Goldian. Urkan, what do you think they add from Sunbreak to Wilds? The one thing that I want to see is switch skills, even though I know that there's a bit of a divisiveness with the community when it comes to that. Uh, other than that, from Sunbreak, I mean, maybe some of the moves would be nice. But it's like, for instance, I don't want Bullet Barrage. You know? I think Bullet Barrage was amazing. It's not something that I would want to have in uh, a mainline Monster Hunter. It's a bit much. You know, Bullet Barrage is a bit much. Like, it's great to have it in Sunbreak, and that's where I want it to stay. But yeah. How do you cut off Iceborne? You right-click the game on Steam, you go to Properties, and you just turn it off. Regal Eagle, thank you very much for being grossly incandescent for a full year as a long beard, you giga chad. Tip of the hat, appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you very much. I didn't even see what materials I got. I'm pretty sure I didn't get enough spikes to craft or charge blade, though. Burr, 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 burr. I'm on PS5. I don't know if you can do that on PS5. Not on your main account, anyway. If you want to do it on PS5, if you make a new account, it most likely will not have Iceborne associated with it, I think. And maybe that would work, but I'm not 100% sure. You're going to make it to Rotten Vale today? I'm not... Listen, I am not in any rush. We're going to be playing until 6, so we got like 40 more minutes left. I want to keep these streams at like 3 hours, because I want to have them be very much 
you know, I'm able to keep having conversations. Because once I've noticed that as I've aged, once I go past three hours, it's easier for me to just keep going on hunts and barely interacting with chat because I'm just focusing on hunting. So that's why I want to keep these live streams kind of a little bit on the shorter side, because that way it's also more consumable after the fact. Oricon, this is off topic, but what do you think of the new patch, the Wayfinder? I think it's amazing. I think it's really good. I've been speaking with uh, the community manager, uh, Sir Snarf. He's been keeping me appraised of what is happening there. The biggest problem is that right now, the algorithm is really bad for Wayfinder. Because, like, I... No joke. I would love to just pump out another, another Wayfinder stream. Like, right now. That would be amazing. But, like, I'm not sure if you guys remember the last Wayfinder stream that I did had a huge negative impact on the channel. It averaged at around 50 people watching. It blew my mind. This was like one day after a major content patch, and I was like, what? So, like, Wayfinder has kind of really, you know, got absolutely demolished in the algorithm. And I think that right now what they need to do is they need to pump out that season two to see if they can get another marketing push going. And at that point, I'm going to go back to doing coverage on it. But I can't I can't afford to just do a stream that has 50 average viewers because that destroys my channel in the in the algorithm. But yeah, they're doing a lot of really good changes. And I do want to jump back into it. It's just, like I said, I'm waiting for season two. And then I'm going to jump right back in there and check it out. I don't think many people are interested in it. See, that's the thing. I don't believe that a lot of people aren't interested in it. I think what happened was with the server problems that they had when that game came out, uh, it just got completely lost in the sauce. Because 2023 was an amazing year for games. And if your game comes out and it's broken, it is super easy for people to just go, well, I have like 50 other games to play anyway, so whatever. That game was on the top of Steam charts when it came out. It was like number three when it came out. So there's definitely an interest there, and I'm interested. Like, I kept playing it, even though I wasn't doing content for it. I was still playing it every day for a good long while. I stopped when I basically crafted all the weapons that I wanted to craft, and I was waiting for them to patch in the ability to level up Wayfinders using, like, those EXP things that we have gotten. But I'm super hyped for Wayfinder. It's just they really need to figure out a way to jump back into the into the algorithm's good graces. Ashfields, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. I know people hate on the Clutch Claw, but it was the best thing to ever happen to the Lance. It was so awesome to use a Claw to bait the munch. Yeah, dude, the, the, um, the Clutch Claw Lance move, I loved it. I wanted to main Iceborne with Lance, like my first Iceborne playthrough. I wanted to main Lance because of that move. That move was so good. I freaking loved it. Did you ever go back to Baldur's Gate? I will. I haven't gone back to it yet, but I will. A hundred percent. How's your gear holding up? <laughs> Hammer Clutch Claw was also amazing, yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, is it bone or metal? I forget. I think it's metal. Yeah, see, you need two more Rathian spikes. What if I just flat out crafted it, though? I think it's a poison sack. Oh no, you need three poison sacks. I'm better off just beating the crap out of more Rathians, to be honest. Which is fine. Let's see if we got an investigation for her. Good evening. What do you think about Monster Hunter Wilds actually needing or not the open world feature? I think it's appreciated, but unnecessary. I don't think it needs to be open world. I think it is... I mean, I think a lot of the things that I saw in that trailer give me personally the indication, you know, whenever I come up with speculation for these things, a lot of the things that I see in that trailer give me a vibe that it is going to be open world. It doesn't have to be open world. Uh, Safer, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. Never learned how to use the clutch claw, so I didn't understand why it was so bad for the health of the game. Um, it was bad because 
let's put it like this. The idea with the clutch claw was, is the monster enraged? No. Time for a wall bang. Like, that alone, without even touching up on tenderize or any other of the things, it was like, is the monster enraged? No. Wall bang. That type of playstyle is what was bad for the game. Every time the monster's not enraged, wall bang it. And you know, then there's also the tenderized situation, which is also very bad for certain weapons where you have to constantly tenderize. See, the thing that I find interesting is that a lot of people kept telling me, Wyvern Steak Blast is not that bad, but yet they complained about tenderizing when Wyvern Steak Blast is basically tenderized for Gunlance. You guys ever think about that? Wyvern Steak Blast was basically tenderized for Gunlance. If you think about it. <laughs> the wall bang and the tenderize were the only issues? No, 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 no. When you put it like that, yeah, yeah, that's right. But a lot of people kept telling me tenderize was a problem, but Wyvern Steak Blast was fine. It's like, oh, okay, sure. Sure thing, brother. Okay, do we have... Anything for Rathian. We got a Toby Kadachi in there. Doesn't look like we got Rathians. Nope, no Rathians. So, therefore, we just go Hunter again. And it's just as annoying a bit less. No, it's worse. It is way worse. The amount of damage we lose is actually worse than hitting a non-tenderized part of the monster. We just straight up lose like way too much damage as gun lens. You have no idea. It's actually worse than tenderizing. And here's the thing. You want to know the other reason why it's worse than tenderizing? It's worse than tenderizing because you can tenderize at any moment. You just pull out your clutch claw, boom, tenderize. Right? The only thing that changes is the state the monster is in, which is the same thing that we have to do. But on top of it, with the gun lance, you have to find ammo in the ground, and it has to be good ammo, because if you're using, like, Red Pit, then your Wyvern Stake Blast lasts nothing. If you use Dragon Ammo, your Wyvern Stake Blast lasts nothing. So you need it to actually have, like, good ammo, like Bomb, or Thorn Pod, or something like that, so that your Wyvern Stake Blast would actually last long enough to be meaningful. So it is way worse than tenderize. And that's why you shouldn't play bad weapons. Bro, get the hell out of here. Not engaging with that. Let's hunt another Rathian. We need to get that, uh, need to get that there, that there. Rathian charge blade. I'm gonna go in through here. Doop. I also need to go down there and uh, put my honey back on. Give me the chef's choice. I thought on the monster drop ammos were the longest ones to last compared to the ones in the ground. No, that's not as simple as that. It was based on the individual ammo type. And I'm still, to this day, I'm still pretty sure that dragon pods are actually glitched. Dragon pods were actually supposed to last way longer, but they were terrible. They lasted about as much as a red pit, if I remember correctly, which just doesn't make sense. You're like, what do you mean? A dragon pod is not going to last that long? <laughs> How's that even a thing? Wait, was I doing something here? Do we have deliveries we can complete? Noise. That's another camp in there. We just need an Angie pelt. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to talk with this guy about honey. Bruv. Oh, man. How's the honey situation going? Yeah. Now fertilize that. 
Boost your honey or harvests. Good for three quests. Oh, wait. What am I doing? I'm so stupid. I put in regular stuff. No, I need to put this. I didn't remember how the damn thing worked. Actually, I think it's time for me to do something. Um, okay, save that. Uh, do I have enough blue shrooms? I do. In that case, let's start filling out our crafting list. Okay, looking good. We fill around a little bit. Ashfields, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Is it weird? One of my favorite monsters is Royal Ludrith after playing Try. In GU and Rise, I didn't really care at all about it. Then I played Try and I was blown away with, this, with the underwater persona. I mean, Royal Ludrith is a pretty cool monster, so I think that's fine. Uh, okay, so I have the thing now. So what I really want is... I need to fill around and camp. Uh, I think I've done everything here, right? Yeah, we good? Okay, let's get out of here. Boink. Okay, let's go for this and see what I want to do now is we're going to grab this and we're going to do... Actually, I don't know if... I don't remember if this game does it. I think it does. Uh, customize radio menu, quest settings here. Oh, I need to actually craft it first time around. No, here it is. It's already here. Wait, what? I think I need to craft it once just to see it. So, crafting list. Craft one of these. I'll customize radial menu, quest settings. This. That should do it, I think. Now then. Did we pick up all of the? Yeah. What's the chances we get false tracks and wilds? Uh, I think they're fairly low. False tracks is one of those very much out there monsters. I love him, but he's very much an out there monster. And I think that for wilds, they'll probably stick with more grounded stuff. Where do you think I should go to Iceborne after my slow run of Monster Hunter World? Sure, why not?
You thought about multi-streaming since Twitch let us do it? I've always said, it's like, I'm not a big fan of multi-streaming. Not because of like contracts or anything like that. I like focusing on one chat experience. I don't want people to have to be like, oh, is he talking to the people on YouTube? Is he talking to the people on Twitch? Who's he talking to? I, I don't know, it feels like a weird thing. And I know that you can collate the chats and do all of these things, but a majority of users don't actually do that stuff. So it's it's, it's just kind of like a, a strange experience. I'm a boomer, okay? I'm not. I don't have the ADHD traits that a lot of streamers do, where they like they can focus on a zillion different things at the same time. Me, you guys already can tell when I'm focused on a fight, when I'm in the zone, it's like I'm playing by myself. <laughs> So yeah, it's it, that that's the main reason. Not to mention that the content that I usually do on Twitch and the content that I do on YouTube is very different. So like in here, we're playing Monster Hunter, we're playing Souls Likes, we're playing a bunch of different games. And usually on Twitch it's been more MMO type stuff. Hello! What are you doing here? Bonk! You go to horny jail. after we do this, we're gonna go hunt an Angie. Get an Angie's legs. Oh, wow! That was, uh, that reached way further than I expected. Oh yeah, just roll right in the poison. What could possibly go wrong? lawnmower over here. This works. Oh god. Oh god. That's not good. Oh, she's leaving. Nice. <laughs> Alrighty then. Give it to me. Give it to me. Also, I'm gonna take these shrooms. Thank you very much. Doot, 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 doot. Kif, kif, kif. If you run out of stamina, you'll be winded and vulnerable. Veteran hunters know to always keep By the way, Rui Basil clapped my cheeks. That's what you get. Basil is a beast. 
guys remember that time I did uh, Gunlance Main plays Greatsword? Basil even clapped my cheeks. Man, you guys are so nice. You're always here for me to charge my weapon. I appreciate these Renoplos. They're always here for me. I'm to make sure this meat doesn't go to waste. Uh, I swear game looks better than usual. Are you using any mods? Uh, no, I'm using the official HD texture pack. That's it. Other than that, everything's vanilla. Uh, yes, Taha. Very much so. We're going to be taking our sweet time, so this is going to be a very lengthy playthrough. Oh my god, that would have been so good if we had gotten the chop there too. Imagine chopping her tail right there, just like that. Bro! Stop that! Rathian! God damn it! The absolute disrespect on this monster. Bitch! See, now you've gone and done it. Now you've gone and done it! You shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have gone and done that. Uh uh. -uh. You're gonna regret that. You're not gonna like what comes after this. Dumb idiot. Why did they get in the way, bro? The absolute sabotage that is going on right now. God damn. There's the chop. There's a good chance of spikes on that. That's why I wanted it. You ready for that KO, baby? get another mount. Uh, I think that Spike is also influenced by breaking her back. Come on, give me a Spike. Give me a Spike. A scale? Not even a tail. A scale. It's like literally the worst loot that you can get from Rathian's tail. Like, yep, here's a scale. Here you go, brother. Enjoy that. Yes, break her back. Yeah, I think it's the back. Did she actually go down there? No, she's up. She's up, right? Yeah, she's above. 
Listen, your cousin messed up my combo earlier. So now you boys get to pay for it. Don't get too feisty. After you chop the tail, is there any reason not to trap it? We don't do that here. I mean, what are we? Are we torturing these monsters? No, we kill them. And by the way, I know that a lot of you are like, Oh, but capturing gives more rewards. No, no it doesn't. It gives you different rewards. Come on! It's like I'm trying to get a mount so that I can score a nice hit in the back. Break in the back, break in the back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, baby. You got this, you got this. Bust up that back. No! You fool! She is hitting the heart. This actually goes for the head. Well, the final hit goes on the back, I guess. Break the head, and we're good to go. Mm -hmm. 
I remember that one point where I needed her horn so bad that I just made a hammer set with full part breaker, went the whole hunt, beating her on her ugly head, and I still did... I only got the, the horn break on the kill. I was like, bro, what the hell is this? That did not feel normal at all. All right, baby girl. I'm afraid it's time for you to go. Goodbye, baby. Oosh! Wow, she just like took that one in the chin. Bonk. 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 God damn! I believe! Got her. I'm gonna get me this nice little bone pile. Watch me get two spikes right now. Two spikes. Between the carves and the rewards, we're getting two spikes. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Uh, sometimes, Miyamoto, for sure. For sure, sometimes I'm like, oh, I should wirefall. Can't do that. Well, really? Three scales. This is the stingiest... Rathian I've ever seen. There's gonna be two spikes in the rewards, okay guys? Two spikes. It's guaranteed. It is guaranteed, okay? Believe me, team. Two spikes in the rewards, okay? 100%. Today I learned Scientology has nothing to do with science. I remember when I learned that. Because, like, I remember seeing some ad for Scientology and I was like, huh, this sounds interesting. Then I looked into it and I was like, huh, it's a crazy murder cult. Never mind. <laughs> Rathian scale, bone, shells, wing talon, wing talon, scale, shell, sphere, nitro shroom, shell, webbing, shell. I guess she wants me to come back. It's just that simple. She wants me to come back. And back will come. We will come for her as many times as it takes. Oh yeah, we might have investigations this time hey, around, partner. though. Let's go on an expedition out in the Great Ravine. I'll tag along. No, you won't. Kestadon, bada 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 bada. Nope. No Rathians. Feels bad. Anyway team i'm gonna have to go meet up with my kids because you know they're not really in in school proper now because it's uh kind of like christmas vacation and all of that stuff so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed today's stream if you guys did enjoy it a like would be super appreciated it really really helps out to reach out and whatnot and you know let the algorithm know that you guys are enjoying the content thank you all very much for hanging out with me uh, I also have a premiere going on uh, about half an hour from now. Uh, I do a super deep dive into that new game that the Hello Games team is working on, the people behind No Man's Sky. So for those of you interested, you might want to check that out. This live stream will automatically redirect you to that video, which, like I said, goes live in about 30 minutes. So, uh, yeah, do check it out. And if you do enjoy it, hit the like button there as well. I appreciate you. Thank you all very much for hanging out with me. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Stay strong. Stay safe. Peace out.